I checked out and last night because I fell asleep. I didn't even have dinner. So I still have this yogurt and the papaya from last night that I'm gonna eat. Look at this papaya. Apparently they have lots of papayas. Oh, oh, I love this so much. Last time I think somebody said like, oh, I finally figured out that you can eat papaya by scooping. Yes, that, that's how you learn things. Like these do God food things because you have to, right? I can't, like I have a knife, but like cutting it off and everything, like it's just too much work and too much hassle. So this is my papaya hack. Okay, so get a half of papaya. If you have a whole one, you do need to cut it in half. So you need a knife for that. Then you have this wrapping, right? Save it, don't throw it away. So this morning I had a freaking amazing breakfast with fresh papaya, fresh strawberries, and two paninis. I don't know if I filmed those, but they had these like these fresh rolls and a panini maker at the breakfast buffet. Mm, amazing. Really, really love this hotel by the way. And people are so nice. So the link for that is down in the description below because you guys always ask me like, oh, where are you staying? Where are you staying? I decided to put the links in the description. Okay, look at this. Look at this. You just scoop everything out. The seeds and stuff. Obviously, I have a plate underneath it. And the wrapping. So scoop it out in a wrapping, then you can easily throw it away. All of this goo, just wrap it up. Look, you have this little papaya goo thing that you can throw away easily. Just scoop out the papaya. Mm. It is so good and so juicy. Mm. Worked for a little bit, finished the vlog, got the luggage, and now we're off to the other hotel, which is about a 10 minute walk from here. I think I'm gonna put the camera away because I have two suitcases to handle. Uh, but I'll see you in a minute when we checked in. That was super smooth. Let me just show you the room. It is a big room, man. This, so this is where you come in. Here are some closets. And we have a little working space over here, which I can really appreciate. Sitting area over here, and then Boom! Two double beds. I have to choose in which one I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'll show you the view in a minute. But over here we have the bathroom, which is also huge. I like this. I like a huge mirror. Huge, huge, huge. I keep saying it. Sometimes a word just gets stuck in my head and I keep using it all the time. And over here we have the actual shower and a bathtub. Just yesterday I was thinking like, oh, it would be so nice to have a bath. So much space loving it and over here we have a nice view of Peru but what I wanted to say yesterday is that I actually really like the color building so over here it's just blue and green but there are so many colors and Miraflores the area where we are staying right now it is so cute and so hipster it reminds me a little bit of um, a little bit of shortage I have to do my hair now and actually go to a beauty shop because I forgot my bronzer or actually it was already almost finished I have no words for myself like apparently one month in Hong Kong living with my brother and I forget everything when I travel like it's insane the amount of stuff that I forgot now on this trip I've never forgotten that much on any of my trips in two and a half years of traveling like this this legit never happened this is so bad anyways just gonna get ready and then we're off I just realized that I didn't do the bed test for so long so let's just do this one, two, three. Ah! Oh, this is a really nice bed. Yeah, this is a fluffy bed. Can you see this? Bouncy bed, like Cheryl would say. Love it. Oh, I really need to get ready now. Come on, let's go. Okay, got changed. Let's go outside. I just need to buy the bronzer, but I also saw like a spot where I want to take a picture. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, this dress, by the way, is, I don't know, from an online shop just ordered and bought so much clothes lately oh i got a palette actually from maybelline because the blush and the bronzer were so good and i actually also needed a blush so i was like wait a minute this is a real bargain i have to say mad value for money i have to get back to the hotel actually like really quick because i still need to edit a video before the others arrive and we're going to dinner later but i just want to show you a little bit of the atmosphere here in miraflores i hope we'll have a little bit more time when we come back but like it's just cute and over here like a restaurant and these 
street stalls. They have many of these street stalls. I love them, like these street vendors. Yeah, so that's like a kind of a first impression, guys. Also, something that stands out for me in Lima so many palm trees palm trees or coconut trees i think these are palm trees and so many trees it's a very green city i like that really 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 hope to see alpacas in real life hello kitty she's just chilling <laughs> this is a better impression look at this cuteness this street it is so cute and this is a restaurant terrace what I also love, so many people in the streets. I really like people just chilling and hanging out outside. It's a little bit chilly, but it doesn't matter. Like you can still hang out outside and it's nice. Wait, actually let's just walk through this park. I have to go that way anyway. Oh, they have churros, fresh churros. Damn. I don't think I have like enough cash with me. Oh, but we need to have churros. For real, for real. Okay, going into the park. Beautiful flowers. I love that mix, man. Hot pink, white, light pink. So pretty. Ooh. Nice. Oh, apparently there's also a market over here. You can see like some jewelry. Here are some leather bags. There are some souvenirs. Cute. See this beautiful square. People chilling outside. I think this is a church. Oh, that looks nice, man. Don't know what they're doing with this massive Peruvian flag. Oh, I guess they're putting it away. Okay, that was it. Your girl decided that an hour by the pool would be a brilliant idea. I can't show you the pool now because there are people in the pool, but when I can, I will show you because it is perfect. That was so nice but i actually also want to take a bath yes girl is greedy like that obviously this hotel is also linked down in the description below uh, if you want to check it out i'm so happy i asked to arrive one day early because all the others are arriving today and literally <laughs> they still have to get here and then we're off to dinner and i'm like I'm so enjoying this hotel, <laughs> it's really nice. Also yesterday where I was staying was such a blessing. Like the friendliest receptionist welcomed me and it was just so nice to have this time and get accustomed to the jet lag because the jet lag is surreal. I would like to go to bed in one hour, not a chance because we're going to dinner, but uh, I am that tired. In Hong Kong now it's already like I think Again, 8 a.m. or something. Oh, let's just, let me just take a bath. That was such a nice bath. The others also have arrived, so we're going out to dinner. But this is just like, obviously I remove my makeup and stuff and I am almost ready to go to bed. Uh, somebody asked me, are you still using the Estee Lauder products? Yes, and I freaking love them. They are skin life saviors, especially after flights. I need it. Just came back from dinner, met with the other people from the group. We have such a fun group. I'm going to introduce you to them tomorrow. Obviously today they all had long flights. So we were all like, let's just chill with this dinner. We had amazing food, by the way. I had a potato and pumpkin soup, which was freaking delicious and a salad. And it was really nice and it was a perfect dinner. So tomorrow we are flying over the Nazca lines. I am so freaking excited. If you are too and you would like to travel along and see more of Peru, click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!